hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in today i appreciate all the feedback that you guys gave me from the last video and it's just been so exciting to hear back from you I wanted to do a little valentine's day look for you guys something soft with like glowy skin not too in your face with colors but something that really caught Compliments skin tones with a little peach undertone or yellow orange undertone or you know what anyone can pull off this look or these colors and it's just something fun and semi-neutral lashes of course well, all right <laughs> thank you again thank you again for watching guys this is gonna be a video on what I would wear if I were to go to a Valentine's Day date. Not that I would, not too big on Valentine's Day, honestly, but you guys are. So might as well, right? All right, cool. It's my DIY primer slash setting spray. I already moisturized my face. Also has a little bit of SPF in my moisturizer. I'm gonna take my Luminous Primer by 100% Pure. My nails look a little busted because I bought this like top coat. It's supposed to be like gel-like or whatever. I'm gonna talk about it in my favorites and dislikes video for February, but I didn't like it too much. I'm gonna re return it because it took forever to dry on my nails. Like it took like an hour and a half. Not even, it took more than that. Like it was still like sticky tacky. So I have to go to CVS later to get a new one. Cause I don't want my nails to look busted because on Monday, which is tomorrow, I might put this video out either today or tomorrow, depending on how much I get done. And cause it's already like almost 4 p.m. here in the East Coast, I think. So it might not download on time, but oh my God, I got the job guys. <laughs> I got the job, um, me and my mother-in-law were out yesterday going shopping, running errands and stuff like that and then I got a call um, from Ulta and oh man, it was, oh god, I thought, it's kind of like unbelievable for me still but yeah, so they let me know that I got the job and I'm super excited. And yeah, I mean, they said they're starting me out as like a beauty advisor, but there's so many growth opportunities. So I'm not even sure. I mean, it's going to be a job that I love. So I can already tell I'm going to really get along with my coworkers. And I'm going in with this the Infallible Pro Matte. I've been loving this lately. I'm using like a, a Radiant Primer though, Luminous Radiant Primer. Um, I really like that primer. I don't know why I put it down for a while. Maybe just because I wanted to like do or like use different products but oh it's 104 by the way so i got a call and they told me to download this app called group me which is i guess like the best way for the employees to communicate instead of you know texting each other in like a group message or something it does seem a little bit more professional though so yeah so i downloaded that app i need to like update it still with like my profile picture and stuff but oh i'm super excited i go in tomorrow to fill in paperwork which is Monday. It looks a little light, but it oxidizes on my skin. So just wait a little bit. It's a little on the orangey side, like undertone wise, but it doesn't bother me so much because I have like yellow undertones. Did I just put on my foundation without wetting my beauty blender? Oh my God, I give myself a headache sometimes. <laughs> BRB, always keeping a towel handy on my lap just in case of any loose powders falling and such. Now I'm gonna take the butt and blend it out using NC20 putting one pump on my hand and I just take my pinky or my ring finger and I kind of just dot it around I'm not like too extra precise about this um, I really like this concealer it lasts a really long time you know how this goes so I'm gonna take the air spoon with the same beauty blender and just, just slightly bake not too much a little bit on my eyelids so I'm gonna take my crown brush uh, the C512 and dust off any excess that might be there on my eyelid, same on the other eye. I'm gonna do one of my eyes off camera, then I'll come back, okay. This is the eye that 
that we're going for and here's my bare eyeball. So everything that I'm using here is from the Modern Renaissance palette and first I'm going to take my Wet n Wild large fluffy brush. I'm going to dip it into tempera and I'm just going to go on my brow bone right here and with tempera I love this shade. I hit pan like it's literally almost gone. I like to put this all over my brow bone all the way into the inner corner of my eyebrow and I bring it out a little bit here past my eyebrow because I shaved off the ends of my eyebrows so I'm pretending as if I have longer eyebrows for when I fill it in later and then I take it a little bit into the crease over here because when I do this, it just makes for a smoother blend when I bring in my transition color. So you see that? It goes most concentrated area over here all the way down, fading into the crease. Next, I'm going to take my Crown Pro C512 brush. I'm going to dip it into Golden Ochre and use that as a transition color. Now, I know a lot of people like to use the darker colors, raw sienna and burnt orange as a transition color, but since like golden ochre is so neutral, I find that it makes a very, like a more subtle transition color and it makes the blend look nearly airbrushed. This is what I would call my secret is when it comes to blending and doing eyeshadows to use a transition color first that's a little bit darker than your natural skin tone. So golden ochre I would say is two shades darker than my natural skin tone. So I dipped into that three times and you see how it looks very seamless. So next I'm going to go into my... Forever 21 blush palette and then I'm gonna use this shade. I'm gonna use it as my next transition color and as you can see I'm doing a halo eye. First I'm going to take it in the outer corner right here and just blend it up upwards. Sorry if you hear creaking in the house, it's just the way the house works. <laughs> I'm going to take the same blush color, dip it into the inner corner. I like to drag it into the middle a little bit. I don't like to blend the middle part for some reason. It just makes the eye a little bit more closed, especially since I have hooded lids. You just want to maximize the space without making it look overcrowded. Now I'm going to go into the Modern Renaissance palette with my Crown C511 brush. It's a little fluffy but uh, a little tapered as well. And I'm going to go into the outer corner over here and just hold it vertically. Also I'm holding my mirror downwards and looking down into the mirror and I'm just going to blend a little upwards like that but concentrating the color in this outer corner right here. And then I'm gonna wipe off the brush on my towel a little bit so that product comes off and blend the edges. Make sure you maintain this vertical part blank so that you can put uh, glitter on it later. And I'm gonna take more of the love glitter and go in the inner corner over here, concentrating like a little bit more in the inner part where the blank space and the lighter pink touch so that we don't bring love letter too far out and it doesn't look blended. It's just gonna look like I have like a lot of pink in the inner corner and I don't want that really. Then fade the rest into that blank area right there. Now I'm gonna take this random uh, flat brush that I have. It's a little fluffy though, so you can blend it out a little bit. It's by Elianto. It's a brand in the Philippines. And then I'm gonna take Venetian Red from the Modern Renaissance palette and pack it in the inner, inner corner right over here to concentrate the color more in this area, in the inner part of the outside of the halo eye if that makes sense and I'm gonna take the same color and put it where we had the love letter color earlier just to make the colors a little bit more dense now I'm gonna take my crown blending brush again and just go over edges of the outer part of the color part of the halo so now I'm gonna take this brush that came with the glitter kit that I bought from pinky rose in Sacramento it's by the brand and liquid sugar and I kind of just drop the liquid sorry my background fell <laughs> I'm just gonna drop the liquid into the cap of the glitter so 
and then mix it with the glitter and then kind of make it into a paste and then pat it on my eye with this little brush it came with. So I'm gonna concentrate the glitter in this middle part right here. I wanna bring it above my natural crease a little bit so that when my eyes are looking up, you still see a little bit of the glitter peeking through. And then make sure you fade out these edges really well so it just looks like it's a little blended more. Alright, I'm gonna bring you guys in again to show you how I finished the lower lash line. So with my Crown C433 blending brush, I'm going to take that blush color from my Forever 21 blush palette and I'm going to place it in the lower area over here and the lower area over here. So basically mimicking the halo effect that we did on top. What I'm doing right now is uh, tilting my head down but looking my eyes up so that I can get all of the area under my eye blended really well. Then from this outer corner here, I'm connecting it to this outer area of my eye. I'm going to take my Elianto brush and go into Love Letter and Venetian Red, tap it off, and then go into the lash line closer to the lash line, but don't go, but not going over the areas we put the blush, so it makes like a, a gradient effect. Y'all see that? <laughs> so for the middle center of my lower lash line right over here, I'm just going to take Vermeer with my pinky ring finger and go into the middle part. Alright, so eyes are done. So now for my face, I'm going to take this Trish McAvoy fan brush. It's a 62 fan brush. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. palette that I've been looking at this whole time. Or, yeah, for like the mirror. It has like a big mirror. So I'm going to take this, the darker brown color on the bottom over there. And I'm going to use the edge of the fan brush, like this part, to contour. And I learned this from Nikki Tutorials and I tried it out and it actually worked really well for me. So I just like suck my cheeks in and then I go a little bit higher than where I intend to contour. And it just helps it out just in case I fan it out like too much. It doesn't look like it's going too much down. So I'm concentrating most of it over here. Don't forget like to contour into the your hairline because I know sometimes like you can just miss that part and it looks like you have like a white gap between your contour and your hairline. So then I just fade whatever it is upwards like that. Then I'm going to take this Eco Tools brush going into the lighter brown and kind of warm up my skin a little bit. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild brush that I use for my brow bones. I'm going to contour my nose. Over here. Give me that cute little nose, but nose. Then I'm going to go back with that Elia or not Elianto, the Eco Tools brush. My favorite blush color is this one. Going on the apples of my cheeks. A little bit on my nose. With the same brush, I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Blush in Peach Beach and just go over where I just put on my blush. And for my eyebrows, I'm gonna do them off camera because I'm gonna be doing a brow series next month. So that's gonna detail all of the steps that I use to do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna do actually a brow series of a couple different styles of brows. So yeah, just look forward to that. And yeah, I'll be right back. So to finish off the eye, I'm gonna use this Giorgio Armani eyeliner. It's in a dark brown color. Line my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes, put some falsies, and I'll be right back. Ha <laughs> Can you see me winking at you? Now I'm gonna finish the look off with a nice two toned nude lip. So I'm gonna use BFF2 today. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot a highlighter. Oh, now back to my lips. I love this lip liner on its own. Just leaving it like that would look like a really nice, neutral, pretty shade. And I'm gonna take Times Square, my ColourPop. And it's like a nude with a pink undertone or like peach undertone. Kind of ties with the tone of my blush too. I'm going to take my homemade setting spray and spritz my face, but also covering my chest because this gets everywhere. 
All right, I'm gonna let this dry and put some clear brow gel on my brows, do my hair, and I'll be right back, okay? All right, this is the final look, guys. Hope you guys like it. And like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see anything else, okay? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.